ओके हाय धनंजय फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वेलकम यू ऑन लीगल एज आफ्टर कॉलेज यूट्यूब चैनल एंड लीगल एज आफ्टर कॉलेज टीम वेलकम्स यू एंड कंग्रेचुलेट यू फॉर सिक्योरिंग दिस गुड रैंक दैट इज रैंक एट इन एल एट पी जी ट्वेंटी एग्जामिनेशन सो माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ यू फीलिंग मैम आई एम फीलिंग वेरी गुड इट वॉज अ वेरी प्रेजेंट सरप्राइज आई वॉज नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग ए आई आर एट Uh, but i was very very happy when the results came out i was very happy with my score actually even more than the rank i was very happy that uh, i could get 82.75 because i was not uh, very happy with my uh, descriptive answers because i could not finish the paper in time but i was very happy that uh, i could finally get my hands on irit it all right so uh, the first question uh, which uh, as a team we want to ask what is your first uh, reaction when you have seen the paper as the pattern was changed and uh, like uh, ma'am with regards to clat i think that the paper uh, the pattern was changed but as regards to ilet uh, the way you actually ma'am had told us before the exam the pattern was more or less uh, the same as last year and the paper was predictable we knew that there were going to be tough questions on english whether it comes to vocabulary or sentence formation and even in terms of law the questions were difficult but if you applied your mind and uh, you paid attention to the time you could find the answers in the paragraph itself like if you had basic knowledge of the subject for example tpa and contracts you could find the answers in the passage itself so the paper was not uh, i would say it was not uh, confusing it was straight forward if you applied the basics well if you attended the classes uh, regularly you would have been able to do it easily okay and what's your uh, uh, like reaction after seeing the subjective portion what was it expected the questions were expected uh ma'am as far as the subjective portion is concerned you actually ma'am had taken a class on youtube uh, whether the expected questions so i had uh, more or less prepared all of those questions and then just before the exam two days before the exam you actually ma'am had a video on ews and i had it was a two hour video uh, in the crash course series and i had watched that video and the first question was on ews so i was very happy In in the other questions, uh, I saw Uniform Civil Code. I had read about it in the editorial of the Hindu, so I was happy with the uh, both of these questions. But I believe more or less uh, out of the ten questions, five were predictable. You could have predicted that uh, there will be a question on reservation, there will be a question on Uniform Civil Code or secularism. The other five were not predictable. So unless you had a knowledge of uh, ADR and IPR, you it would have been difficult to attempt them. All right, all right. So you 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 were able to complete the. Uh, like paper the subjective portion as well uh, uh the subjective portion i would say the second question which i attended for uh, uniform civil code i was able to fill around three sheets but i could have written a one page more but so i was not able to totally complete it but i believe only the conclusion was left so i don't think it affected too much all right all right uh so when you have decided uh, that you want to sit for this particular examination yes uh ma'am basically i was preparing for clat and uh, ilet was something that was very close to me because uh, my college was uh, ip university main campus and that is at a stone's throw from nlu delhi yeah. so every day when i took a turn from uh, when i was sitting in my car i inevitably had to see nlu delhi and i had failed in the ug exam 5 years ago so it was in the back of my mind that i wanted to do at least one degree from uh, nlu delhi so uh, to be honest i had not prepared for uh, it much i had focused mainly on clat because in nlu delhi they test your aptitude what you are studying during the five years they test your english and the emphasis is not on how much you can remember the emphasis is on how can you apply that knowledge so i prepared for ilet just 3 uh, 4 days before the exam rest i had uh, focused on clat all right all right so how long have you prepared for uh, clat and ilet like how many months uh, ma'am basically i had started my preparation 60 days before the clat exam so Uh, i prepared roughly for 2 months before that i was preparing on my own for the past 3 months using uh, the textbooks but formally seriously i started preparing 2 months before the exam because i was preparing for judiciary so right. i dedicated the last 60 days totally to clat okay okay and uh, in an like uh, in a day how many hours you like because this is general question which students yes, ask so in those 60 I... days how many hours in particular single day you used to put for this particular examination uh when the days in which i went to my college i used to devote around 6 to 7 hours but the days when i was at home uh i decided to dedicate at least 8 to 10 hours 
it was not i did not count the hours basically i made a to do list uh, every single day so i could if i could check those items in 6 hours then good if it takes 12 hours it takes it takes 12 hours because i had made a plan for 60 days and i knew that even if i uh, don't complete one day properly it's going to be a huge backlog and i will not be able to complete it because uh, i had very limited time on my, in my hands uh, it was just 60 days and the syllabus is very very vast yeah so it was around on an average i would say 8 to 10 hours okay so that leads to our next question which is uh, like how you divided your day like how many hours sure. for fundamentals how many hours for uh, uh, case laws or not in hours but uh, like the portion wise because uh, generally this is a there's there's one mindset that when it, when you prepare yes. for pg examination case yes, laws are something which which uh, actually gives you a headache so yes, what's your call on that when basically with regards to case laws i was totally dependent on the top rankers material and as far as the classes are concerned i had enrolled in a clash course batch 2 it also included mocks so i had uh, understood from the starting that uh, the mistake which i made during my clat and ielts preparations back in undergraduate was that i did not give enough mocks so in the starting i decided that i will give one mock a day later i increased it to two mocks so around uh, i used to complete that uh, mock in one hour so that i can complete the paper in time so Uh, around 2 hours used to go for mocks and then for uh, the videos i used to watch the videos at a 1.5x speed so i used to watch 3 to 4 videos every day and for the rest of 2 to 3 hours i used to just revise what i have done that day and i used to uh, bookmark all the questions which i found difficult in the mocks and that really helped me because before the exam i had copied all the bookmarks and i had uh, made a print out and before the clat exam for the 3 hours i just looked at the bookmarks of the questions that i got wrong in the mocks So that was very, very, very helpful. All right. And what about judgment? The case. Well, judgment. As far as judgments are concerned, I went to the study material. I downloaded all the study materials chronologically. Landmark judgments of twenty twenty, twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two. For twenty twenty two, we had I think monthly study materials. I downloaded all of them. I got them printed and I made a spiral. So right. every day, uh, that booklet came around to around three seventy four pages. So I divided it daily. I used to do twenty 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 five pages. So in the morning I used to do twelve pages, at night twelve pages, and the next day I used to revise everything I had done yesterday. So by uh, by around I think second uh, or third of December I was uh, through with that uh, uh, booklet. The spiral, yeah. That is the, the spiral. spiral booklet. All right. Okay. So I I think this is going to help uh, the like uh, aspirants a lot who are going to appear in this examination further, uh, considering the fact that. सबको यही लगता है कि जजमेंट्स कैसे पड़े हैं एंड एज आई ऑलवेज से एज आर होल टीम ऑलवेज से दैट रिविजन इज द की एंड आई थिंक यू आर आल्सो इन द कंसोनेंस विद दिस फैक्ट यस सो आई थिंक रिविजन इज द की राइट सो सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम मल्टीपल सोर्सेस वोंट हेल्प यू द द लाइक स्टिक टू अ सोर्स एंड रिवाइजिंग इट मल्टीपल टाइम्स इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू ऑल राइट थैंक यू फॉर दिस सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट्स योर एडवाइस फॉर एस्पिरेंट्स हु आर सिटिंग फॉर अपकमिंग लाइक 2024 क्लाट एंड एलेट बोथ द एग्जामिनेशंस मैम माय फर्स्ट एडवाइस वुड बी टू नॉट लीव इट टिल द लास्ट सेकंड टू स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन इट्स अ टफ एग्जाम द सिलेबस इज वेरी वास्ट सो इवन इफ यू आर preoccupied with your college uh, preparation college exams at least give one hour every day because in uh, in the end if you don't give those, that one hour every day it's going to be very very tough and as you said ma'am revision is the key there is uh, nothing new that you should study at least one month before the exam just keep on revising keep on giving the mocks revise the questions that you have bookmarked and i think revision is something that uh, is indispensable if you want to clear any exam be it clat be it judicial or any other competitive exam revision is the key because sometimes we get uh, into this uh, headache of uh, you know learning new things and reading too many textbooks so basically what happens is during that exam there will be questions invariably there will be questions which will be very very difficult and you will not be able to solve them even the toppers will be not be able to solve them but if you have revised well enough at least you will be able to solve those questions which are direct and straight forward i think those are the questions which uh, help you crack the exams i think we have this certain notion that if i can solve the tough questions in the exam and i can so all the questions i'll get through i think that is not the case because the cutoffs in terms of clat and ielts they are not very high so basically you just get the basic right if you get the judgment right and you are able to solve the basic questions because the weightage for the easy question is still one mark and for the very tough question is still one mark so if you spend too much time studying new things and going through textbooks it's uh, just going to weaken your preparation 
because there's a finite number of information that you can inculcate in your brain you can't just study everything and then expect to remember you'll panic and law obviously is endless. law is endless law is endless you can keep on studying that's why it takes 5 years to just complete some yeah, portion of law portion of law so keep on revising as if you can every time you revise you add one mark to your final score just keep on revising as much as you can and cases can be done just make a spiral and uh, one thing which i did differently this time was uh, this year i had decided that i will make all my notes digital because when i made handwritten notes they invariably got displaced or i lost them or i could not update them so this year i had decided that uh, i will make sure that all my notes are digital i am able to put them at one place and if there is something new i will keep on adding them so i think that was very very helpful i did not have to write much i was able to copy all the things to that uh, google document i think that really helped me a lot and i think in future also if i prepare for judiciary i think that will also be very helpful so make sure that whatever hard work you are doing it does not go to waste don't do it just for clat just for even if you are preparing for your uh, college examinations if you're preparing for judiciary make one master notebook for each subject so that you don't have to make new notebooks every time because that's just a waste of time and when you revise that notebook because you would have revised it for judiciary for clat for ielts for college preparations it will be you will have a pictographic memory in your brain so during the exam it will help you so i think this is this is really a helpful piece of advice from dhananjay to all the aspirants it's it generally happens that uh, whatever we study wo waste ho jata hai but until unless aap use bahut hi consolidated format yes. mein ek jagah na rakho so i think whosoever is watching this video right now for them this point like can uh, do wonders so you have to like uh, uh, remember this point and one more thing which uh, aspirants are asking these days that how we prepared for english portion because for many for many english is actually a difficult mm-hmm. portion and one more thing as in respective uh, section a both the yes, parts sir. you had to get yes, 50% so because of that many students who secured good marks in uh, the second part yes, but couldn't qualify so what's your uh, advice for the same ma'am as far as english is concerned i went back to the basics i had done word power made easy by normal lewis back in 2018 Great i went book. back to it i think there's no shame it's a wonderful book it's a landmark wonderful. book for english yes i think uh, normal lewis is a stalwart yeah so uh, so i always say that once in the lifetime one yes. should one should read that book yeah it's definitely yeah. it's a very good book apart from that if you follow the hindu editorial religiously if you follow all the words and if if you are trying to prepare for english vocabulary i think you should start using those words there is no point just uh, writing those words in a separate notebook and then looking at them once a week that that is not helpful start using those words in your vocabulary and again i would say invariably there will be words in the examination which will be difficult which you will not know about but you have to understand that even the topper does not know does not know about these words so when you give the exam especially for english you have to micro manage during the examination once you see the paper you have to understand because you have given mocks you, you have to understand what will be the cutoff if the exam is too difficult for ielts i knew that the exam is very difficult and the cutoff will not go very high so i don't need to waste my attempts attempting few, uh, you know attempting questions for no reason in clat i knew that the paper was a bit uh, easy because easy. the answers were in the passage so if i did not attempt 112 or 115 i would not be able to uh, clear the exam so you have to micro manage during the exam for english portion i would suggest normal lewis if you are into the habit of reading novels you should read novels other than that if you just focus on the hindu editorial because i believe i could see some words were there from the editorials which i had read last month so i think they do take uh, the words from the hindu editorial they they always do all the examination yes. be it judiciary be it anything yeah so uh, the last question which is uh, most important uh, is that what three things would you suggest not to do uh, hmm. like for the aspirants yes, who are like going to appear next year so three things which they should not do and the three things i would suggest them not to do is not to leave the preparation till the last month i think many people will tell you that it can be done in the last two months but let me tell you it's very very difficult don't leave it till the last two months keep on preparing for like one hour half an hour if you can give 20 minutes right now give 20 minutes but stay in a flow you can't just expect, expect to climb the mountain in the last two months some I, people I can, can do say, it i can i can like sum up consistency is the key you want yes consistency is important we are always yeah. consistent sometimes we are studying consistently sometimes we are not studying that is also very consistent we don't study for one month yeah. we are consistent in not studying not studying so habit is the law of nature so try to inculcate good habits even if you can start studying with 10 minutes make a streak make a journal if you are able to you know 
tick mark those uh, streak for 10 to 15 days it gives a lot of confidence it gives you a momentum and by the time the exam comes you will always be very well versed with the syllabus and it will help you a lot to try to stay consistent once you do it for 10 days if you're not able to stay consistent you can read books like atomic habits or the power of habit i think they really help you if yeah. you are struggling with focus you can study a book uh, called deep work so even if you are having some problems try to solve them by reading novels or reading about it so it's very helpful i have solved many problems which i had in the example example i was not able to wake up early so i read the 5 am club by robin sharma so there are books available if you are willing to do it i think it can be done self, if you have a strong self self, self, help, help. Yes. Uh, self help. does help they, yes. they help they really help they really help you the one who is going to help yourself so yes you are the one who is going to help yourself if you have a strong enough why you can do it anyhow yeah and what other two the other two i would say second one is revision i would suggest you not to read uh, you know some new material just before the exam revise 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 every time you revise revise you add marks to your uh, final score revision is the key and uh, in the exam you will not feel bad about the questions you not heard about you will feel bad when you see a question which you have prepared but you did not revise and you're losing out on that question that is a feeling that really hurts so when you come out of that examination hall you should not feel guilty and the only way to remove that feeling is by revising as much as you can the more you revise the better it is i think there is no substitute to revision you can do anything but if you don't revise i think it's all goes to waste i think revision is indispensable and, uh... and the third thing third thing i would say is that you should uh, subscribe to top rankers <laughs> legal edge because I, other i, I want to add course. third thing here because a lot of students are going to get inspired by this video inspired by you yes. so as you mentioned in between the mm -hmm. video that use the the new digital modes so this That's is very right. nice that you consolidated everything at yes. one place right. which helped you a lot so in my opinion yes uh, your third point in my third point very but yes so this is something which i really want to highlight for the upcoming aspirants and uh, yeah one thing that also helps when you make digital notes is that you can search in those notes using control f for example uh, i have i had done three cases on dowry death and i had listed them chronologically but a new case came in the month of november so i had that case right there if it if that case was in the end or somewhere else it would have been very difficult for me to remember but i knew the chronology and i think during the subjective uh, question uh, when you attend the subjective questions it is very important to mention the cases chronologically yes. and you can only do it if you have uh, consolidated all the information at one place right 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 so at last now i want to you uh, like ask you how legal edge after college helped you i think legal uh, edge after college was indispensable to my preparation i remember 60 days before the exam i was totally lost i had no idea what to do because uh, i feel that i had uh, miscalculated the syllabus and i i had hoped that i would complete it within 60 days but it was very very difficult that is when i enrolled in the crash course batch and i uh, around 80 videos were live and 10 to 15 videos are upcoming so i divided my day that i'm going to attend all of these videos day by day and by the time the exam came i had completed all those videos i had even taken the master class for three days it was also very helpful so i believe all the cases we must have revised it around 10 times first you did some cases then the same cases were done by nitin sir then the same cases were done by yuvakshi ma'am so we had revised those cases a number of times yeah and so by that, the end that's where we placed it so that uh, yes. because it's very difficult constantly we were getting this question from aspirants how to remember the cases so we yes. thought like once you are going to listen to about the cases multiple times from multiple people then eventually that is going to yes. like i think one mind. more thing for the cases is that uh, i had a separate uh, document folder in my drive uh, which was titled cases to read so every time i came across a new case in the mock i used to write it there okay. and then it was if i was reading something i could write it there if i heard from someone that there is this landmark case so i wrote that case there so in the end there were 35 to 40 cases and i read all of them like wow. the read the head notes for example triple talaq or sabhi mala or uh, suraj land case for uh, power of attorney so all these cases whenever you come across a new case don't just let it skip by you have to make sure that at least you know whether this case deals with evidence or with crpc or with constitution at least know the basics of that case just try to read the head notes once because the paper will give you a paragraph and yes. if you are smart enough you can deduce the answers from the paragraph itself yes. uh, 
the catch is that you should know you should that know. case deals with what yeah. topic because so, so elimination you, helps elimination helps and there where uh, we say that fundamentally you should be strong enough with your subjects yes ma'am i i felt skip the fundamental things ma'am i felt during ielts and clat they were really trying to test your aptitude mm-hmm. not just how much you can remember but how can you apply that information they have i think clat was a wonderful paper it was lengthy I didn't get a good rank. I scored one seventy one, but uh, yeah. No, so I was just about I, to come that uh, Dhananjay secured one seventy one rank, which but, is which is actually a uh, good. As uh, like everybody knows that this time, this time mm-hmm. the CLAT paper was little different. I won't say easy or yes, tough, but it was different. It was different. Yeah, yeah. No, I was I was happy with the paper. Like I enjoyed giving the paper. i think uh, i was not happy with my score or with how i performed but i was happy in the paper because they genuinely tried to uh, you know test your aptitude what you have learned during those five years if i was an yeah. examiner i could not have prepared such a good paper yeah the so, sample papers were there yeah. it was on the lines of sample paper it was a bit different but uh, you can get the idea what they were trying to do with the sample paper and that's why there was so much emphasis on the sample paper during the seminar that they conducted that please look at the sample paper yes 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 so so analytical skills they actually yes, check yes. uh, from the student that how good are you in applying so every single word which they mention on the yes. website they actually yes. made sense to it yes. and this is a word of advice to all the aspirants who are going to uh, appear next time that uh, do not take consortium lightly they when they yes. say yes. when they say they mean it and uh, the paper was really really amazing uh, i'm not saying it's hard it's easy yes. because there's a lot of controversy on the same yeah. however it was a good paper good amazing paper it it was the same paper for everyone the cut off was the same for everyone yes. everyone was attending the same paper what happens with clad is you have to be on your toes on your even toes. if you have remembered all these judgments i did so many judgments but they didn't ask the judgments so it was okay you have to be on your toes during the exam you don't have to feel bad that what i had prepared has not come at the end of the day you have the paper in your hands and you will be marked according to your score in that given paper so there's no point uh, you know feeling negative during the exam be on your toes have your concepts uh, be have your concepts totally clear and right in front of you if you can explain it to someone then then i think your concepts are clear if you can explain crpc ipc evidence to a 6 year old i think that is the test of whether That's you have actually, uh, learned that subject or not yeah so because sometimes for example 167 i was very confused in 167 but you actually ma'am do, took i think two to three classes and we did a lot of judgments by the end of the session i was like totally well versed in 167 i was prepared even during electronic evidence question that came in clat i think we had uh, done it in our class so i was well prepared with it and just try to make sure that if you're not even teaching someone else just try to talk about it to yourself try to reason with yourself like why this provision is there what is the need of this provision why was there an amendment for example how we learned the chronology of uh, the constitution amendments so why the amendment was brought why this case was uh, this pronounced why by works, the why works why works why works so uh, it's it's it said that uh, law is very common and it it is common yes. it's just like yes. you have to apply your common sense nice yes so that's there it's so it's, i had uh, Uh, yeah. So I had read this quote by I think it was in the Pallias Nelman's book that uh, everything around us is not just physics; it's law also. It's us. Yes, I'm a firm believer of that as well. Yes. Yeah, it's 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 actually a good quote. So it's it's really nice. It's really great talking to you, Dhananjay. And you. I I believe that who so ever is going to watch this video, that person is going to get a lot of help. from this and this is the whole purpose of uh, talking to toppers so that uh, jo jo bhi aapke jo aapne advice diye hain unko koi aur follow karke bahut acche se prepare kar paaye so uh, like thank you for giving your time and uh, so all the best all the best you you're going to have amazing life in nlu d which is which was your dream like since ever so it's going to be a good okay. feeling right so yes, thank you for joining and i would also like to thank uh, legal edge after college because you had an indis- indispensable part in my preparation i think without uh, joining that crash course i think i would not have been in a very good position after the exam but uh, i thank god that i joined this institute and it was very 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 helpful and all thanks to you all thanks to nitin sir and all th- naman sir and all thanks to you vakshi ma'am uh, you guys prepared us very very well thank you so i think it was much. Okay, so very fun being part of top practice yeah. thank you ma'am bye bye thanks thanks for joining
Thank you, man.